So now in this video we're going to make a uh, voltage ramp. We're using a JFET there, the J310. It's the only uh, JFET I have in channel depletion mode. And it uh, you know passes up to a certain amount of current, but then you add a resistor, it limits the current even more. You end up with a current source. A certain amount of current flows through the series uh, components until you charge the capacitor to uh, the uh, supply voltage. Uh, but for a while it's going to hold a, a steady current. That current's going to go in the capacitor, its voltage is going to rise, and with a steady current, the voltage rises steadily. The uh, speed that it rises depends on the current coming in and the capacitor uh, value. The larger the capacitor and the less current, the longer it takes. Uh, low value capacitor with high uh, current uh, charges really rapidly. So in any case, we have a switch. It'll be open while the capacitor is charging. Right now, basically, we have a switch made with a jumper. It's closed right now, keeping the capacitor discharged. So now we have the uh, JFET uh, current source there. We have the drain to the positive supply. I have eight volts actually, but uh, we're to the positive supply. Middle pin, you can see flat side to the left, is to the left, but uh, the middle pin, no matter which way it is facing, is the source. That's coming to a resistor, as you can see there. Then the other side of the resistor, so jumping over, that is the gate, and uh, it's magnetic for some reason. It's drawing to uh, the screwdriver. So, in any case, uh, source through the resistor, and then you got uh, the gate, which we got to uh, the jumper, our makeshift switch, and the positive side of the capacitor. 1000 microfarad capacitor. And now we grab uh, my little oscilloscope there, the uh, cheaper one. So, we got our ground, clipped to uh, ground and then this is the voltage in relationship to ground we're getting stray signals because it's floating here we're gonna plug it into the capacitor right there so we got a uh, solid zero volts right there maybe a little noise or whatnot but uh, in any case we got uh, zero volts now I showed a push button switch this is like we're holding down the button and now releasing the button and there you can see the voltage rise and I'm gonna pause it uh, after we get uh, you know somewhere around like eight squares right there okay it looks like I paused it a little bit later than I should have so we're working with eight volts I wrote you know you could do like five to twelve on the form but five volts you're uh, not gonna get a, a straight line for terribly long so this works better with the higher voltages but there you can see we got uh, one second uh, per division so moving to the left uh, each square is uh, one second making our way over there and then uh, each square going up is one volt so you can see we got uh, I showed you it was an 8 volt power supply voltage up there over here so uh, we're a little left to the line uh, so you can see that over there as well and there and there and there it's lining up pretty well not perfectly one second per division but pretty close now it's not doing as good it's uh, starting to curve uh, more uh, so it's taking longer uh, for the voltage to go up Current's going down a little bit, so that's, you know, a little more than like 2 volts uh, shy of the supply voltage. So with 5 volts, you're probably going to get up about 3 volts, and then with 12 volts, you're probably going to get up to about 10 volts, a straight line before it starts curving. That's the way it looks. So we have limitations. Uh, there's better ways to make voltage ramps. I'll show you the uh, power supply right there. There's better ways to make uh, voltage ramps and uh, whatnot, but this is a simple way if you happen to have this component, a uh, simple circuit to make. And the more circuits you make, uh, the more uh, practice you get and the better you get at making electronics. So it's uh, not a bad idea to uh, build this kind of stuff just for fun. Anyways, so I can't remember where I put the uh, jumper. Okay, I did find the jumper. So now uh, you'll probably, uh, let's zoom in. So we got, uh, it's uh, above the uh, top there. That's, it just disappeared completely. We're going to uh, put the jumper back, and you're probably going to see this goes to ground, a spark. Uh, okay, it doesn't look like it. So you can see uh, the voltage dropped uh, rapidly, and uh, now it's going up. So this is a somewhat large value uh, capacitor. It's probably getting to uh, the limits of one that you would want to short uh, 12 volts. Uh, we probably did get a little spark there, just didn't show up on camera. At 12 volts, you'd get a bigger spark and whatnot. Uh, but at lower voltages and a smaller value capacitors, there's a lot less uh, chance of a spark. So be aware of that. But uh, in any case, I think I covered uh, pretty much everything. 
in this video the value resistor there I just kept grabbing different value resistors till I found one that got me about it's a 3000 ohm resistor about one milliamp of current um, so I would have gone a little bit lower for a little bit more but uh, my next lowest value was 2,200 and I didn't want to use uh, other resistors in series making it a little more complicated. But you could if you need to get a certain amount of uh, current through there. But uh, we don't. We got enough for this video. So in any case, hope you enjoy. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I post on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.